Over a decade ago, back in 2013, Canonical announced Mer as a replacement to X11. And anyone who knows their Linux history knows about how well that went. When Ubuntu swapped from Unity back to GNOME in 1804, Mer was effectively dropped alongside it. And today, a lot of people seem to think that was the end of the Mer story. Mer has been long abandoned, much like the Ubuntu TV and the Ubuntu Edge phone lost to the sands of time, waiting for someone like me to come around and make a video essay. But that couldn't be further from the truth. One thing is true, Mer today is not a new replacement to X11. It basically gave up on that pipe dream. Instead, much like WROOTS and Smithy, it's an implementation of Wayland. And you might be surprised to hear this, but it is still being developed today, and it is still being developed by Canonical employees. And that's because Canonical still has a use for it. Now, for the most part, it's being used for IoT applications, so kiosks, digital signage, car entertainment system, home automation interfaces, and things of that nature, it's not really a main focus on the desktop space anymore. But that doesn't mean it's been fully abandoned on the desktop. Maybe by Canonical directly, but there are some people in the Mer project working on the desktop. One project you may have heard of is Mirrorway by Alan Griffiths, the Mer lead developer. This is a very weird Wayland compositor. So most compositors out there are meant to be used as a standalone thing. Things like Hyperland, Sway, DWL, River, you will go and install a bunch of other random applications and that'll be your environment. Other compositors are meant to be used in a specific desktop. Things like Mutter, the compositor for Gnome, Quinn, the compositor for Plasma, and things of that nature. Mirrorway isn't like that. Mirrorway is more akin to an Xorg style display server intended to be used as a part of various other desktops. It's meant to be used as a starting point so you can build shell components on top of that. This is something I've heard people wanting basically since the start of Wayland. This is what Birdie asked for in his giant manifesto asking for changes to be made to Wayland. But nobody really knew about it and knows about it now because it's based on Mer and Mer isn't really that exciting anymore. But you're not entirely on your own. They also provide some example configurations to get existing desktops up and running. Things like LXQT, Mate, XFCE, and I guess this is the developer's custom configuration. They also have one here for Sway, which I don't really understand why this one is here. The other ones make sense, but... Sure, that's there as well. But this is not the only mer based project. Another one being Miracle WM announced back in February. This is built by another canonical engineer, Matthew Kosarek. And this has a very, very similar sounding aim to another project. Miracle WM is a Wayland compositor built on Mer. It features a tiling window manager at its core, very much in the style of i3 and Sway. The intention is to build a compositor that is flashier and more feature-rich than either of those compositors, much like Sway FX. I wonder, what other compositor has that aim? Hmm, it's a mystery. Don't get me wrong, there is absolutely no harm in re-implementing a very similar concept. Without that, we wouldn't have any distros after Slackware. This is very much an early work in progress. It probably shouldn't be used in production yet, unless you know that this is early, this is probably going to break, there is a lot of things that are missing, not just from Mer, but from this project in general. But by having things like this exist in the Mer Wayland ecosystem, it'll get people actually talking about it, get people using it, get people developing it, and hopefully at some point is able to become big enough to become an important entry in the Wayland discussion. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we talking about Mer? Well, in typical Fedora fashion, Fedora likes to jump on things when they're very early. Fedora Miracle. Not to be confused with Fedora 17 Beefy Miracle, 
Yes, that was a thing that happened. Yes, they had a hot dog logo. Don't ask why it's a long story. Moving past the hot dog, back to the main point. A new fedora spin shipping the Miracle desktop. Remember, this is very, very work in progress, very, very early. Keep that in mind with some of the later discussion. The targeted release is Fedora 41, and this is being spearheaded by three separate individuals. Matthew Kosrek, the lead developer of the Miracle WM project, Simon Quigley, who I'm not entirely sure why he's involved here. He's an Ubuntu member and a Lubuntu release manager, not a developer on this project, so maybe it's because he knows Matthew? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Simon why. And of course, the man who appears everywhere, Neil Gumper, who also happened to make a commit to Miracle as well. The Miracle window manager is a tiling window manager based on the Mer compositor library. While it is a newer project, it contains many useful features, such as a manual tiling algorithm. I would disagree that's useful, but hey, there are people that like manual tiling. Floating window manager support, like every other tiler, support for many Wayland protocols, proprietary NVIDIA driver support, and much more. Users are increasingly interested in using Miracle in various systems. I have no doubt that there is at least five people using Miracle, but honest question, how many of you were even aware that Miracle existed? It's a new project, that is understandable, plus it's mer based giving it kind of less attention, and this is not like a fault of the project, but... <laughs> Here are some numbers. The numbers speak for themselves. The benefit to Fedora. Miracle will provide Fedora with a high-quality Wayland experience built with support for all kinds of platforms, including low-end ARM and x86 devices. On top of this, Fedora will be the first distribution to provide a Miracle-based spin, ensuring that it will become the de facto distribution for running Miracle. Now, because Miracle is made by a canonical employee, how do you think it's mainly being distributed? Obviously, there is the source code, but, um, for testing, install the snap. Do you want a snap desktop? Personally, I don't, but hey, if that's what they want to do, that's totally fine for them. But because of the snap packaging, basically any distro that you want to set up snap on can also be a good place to install Miracle. Just as like a, another general guideline for popularity, there isn't currently a Miracle AUR package. There is an AUR package for a lot of things out there. Currently, Miracle WM does exist in the Fedora repos and is packaged by Matthew. So if you want to go and test it, it can be installed on top of something like the existing Sway Spin and configured to reuse much of the same tools used there. Not all of those tools. So one of the really cool things about Miracle is it does support the i3 IPC. So a lot of the existing tooling around i3, around Sway, is going to work. And Mer is getting there in supporting Wayland protocols. But it is based on Mer, not WL Roots. So in the cases where tooling is specifically based around WL Roots implementation, that is going to have to be replaced. Now, when you have a Fedora spin, somebody has to manage it. So there's also a request to make a new SIG, the Miracle SIG, because I'm genuinely surprised that there isn't already some sort of Mer SIG that exists. I think maybe a more generic Mer SIG would make sense, but if they want to specifically focus on the Miracle window manager, I guess this also makes sense. Right now, there isn't a ton of discussion surrounding this. On both the announcement thread and also the discussion thread, there's nothing here. However, we do have this right here. Just know, I am not even going to try to pronounce this. You don't want to see that happen. Now, I applaud people trying out new window managers and doing stuff with Fedora. But the overhead of creating and distributing the spin is quite high. It seems the contents of this spin would overlap very strongly with the Sway spin. 
would it make sense to combine them to allow users to easily select one or the other? Even during boot, there could be two boot menu entries and we could provide simple instructions to switch between the desktops on an installed system. I don't know what's wrong with the mail archive, but for some reason I can't click this one. I don't know. Luckily, we can see what was said in the next email. Aside from actually being unintuitive and confusing to people to smush two spins together like that, the experience will eventually differ because different tools will be used. Well, since it's based on MER instead of WL Roots, some MER specific tooling may be developed. One of the goals is to have Fedora Miracle as a reference platform for showcasing and developing a community and ecosystem around the MER compositor library. Two things being discussed upstream are how to support server side decorations and how to support portals. Both of these are going to be MER specific, and at least the portal stuff will likely conflict with another spin's configuration. As I said, this is very, very early on. You are not doing standard screen capture. There is a lot of things missing. What about the effort of distributing and archiving a few additional gigabytes, putting up links on the website and browsing through them, some additional time and additional step that can fail during builds? If a SIG is willing to do it and support it, I don't see why not. That is something they still need to get arranged. That really hasn't gone anywhere yet. Now, another person called Kevin Fenzi also chimed in. It's actually a lot more than a few gigabytes. We do rawhide builds of everything every night. We keep a bunch of those until they age out. So here we have 62 gigabytes, or all releases slash beta slash RCS, 118 gigabytes. Anyhow, I think if there's an interesting community around something, making a spin is reasonable. I do think we're also bad about not retiring things that not many people are interested in anymore. And I wish there was a better way to avoid duplication between all the spins. As with every Fedora change proposal, this is a proposal. It still needs to go through discussion, it still needs to go through feedback, and it's very possible it just doesn't happen. But I, for one, am very interested to see what'll come out of Mer. Right now, outside of Gnome, outside of KDE, outside of Cosmic, it's double roots. That's it. Yes, technically, you could build things off of Western, but nobody's doing that. Most people are building off of WL Roots. So if we can have another strong option in this space, I think it'll really help out in the Wayland discussions. Or it could slow things down more. I have no idea. So let me know your thoughts down below. Would you run a Mer Wayland desktop? Did you even realize that Mer was Wayland based now, or are you just finding it out? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes, leave up a link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... Muh... Muh... I got nothing.